Hello, welcome back to the Homesteader. It's Jaden. It's been a while, but I thought we would just get back into the swing of things. And Josh and I decided we'll do an introduction video of our animals. It's August, middle of August. Winter is like next month almost, and we are so far behind. We don't know if we're up or down. So let's go see all of our animals. It's just a hot mess express out there. But let's go show you. He has the baby outside because we don't video our kids. So let's go find him and see what him and her are up to. Um, so I am going to say that we did try to do ducks this year. Um, that was a horrible, I tried ducklings, horrible fail. Tried doing ducks, horrible fail. So I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently my research is not well or I'm missing like a connection or somewhere. So I think we have like two ducks left and quite a few ducklings still so they're still growing good so that was our new animal we tried this year and we tried geese so i got a trio of geese um two females and a male and then i got um two goslings who are just loving life outside so let's go um meet them and this video i hope it's not too lengthy but we've been downsizing a lot because it just got to be too much. And I think we kind of are going to go in a different direction, but I'm not sure because I haven't really talked to Josh about it yet. So I need to talk to him about that before I say I confirm. But let's go meet our little outside fam. I guess we'll start out this. We're showing you our guinea geese. I bought these goose, gooks. Um, and we finally just moved them outside today, so we need to put, this evening we moved them out. So there's a net on here so they can't fly out, but I need to make like a shelter in here, food and water. We just moved them out, um, and I'll move them daily until they're big, big. But these are our guineas, because I love the guineas. They're kind of at like an awkward teenage stage. In our garage, it's like a mini barn in there right now, so we're not going to go in there. Okay, I will probably go in there. I'll show you. Let's show you the good and the bad. Um, but I have... Babe, how many more guineas do you think are in the garage? Guns? No, thank you. 25? Uh, Josh thinks we have about 25 more guinea keats in the garage. And I have six out here. And we have one adult. We gave one to my dad because one of his passed away and its partner was lonely. So we gave him one of ours because we have so many up and coming. But now I'm going to show you, I think, my favorite animal we got. Okay. So here is our one duck. He, I think. He, that's the drake. He is the drake. And I hope our other, oops, and I hope our other one is a female, a hen. So let's go find her. This is Jimmy, no, Cricket. This is Cricket. He's going to be our buck for this. He was a bottle baby. I thought Kronk would not be big enough, so we kept him intact because we thought some babies are better than no babies. I know you guys need fresh water because geese are gross. Is this hot? No. Nope. Um. <laughs> so this is Cricket. Hi, friend. And that's Jimmy. Hi, Cricket. Um, Cricket is a tu tunis. I don't. Remember. Is that how you say it? It's like T U N I S. Yeah. Um, and Kronk is a Navajo chero. Churro. Churro. Hello. Hi. But he's not as... Hello, Cricket. Kronk is a little still scared of us, but we'll get there. Right, Kronk? You better get growing, buddy. Um, over here... Oh, shoot! I have three ducks. I'm just kidding with you. So I think these two are females. They're hens, I think. Actually, that darker one might be a drake. Guys, hello. I'm trying to video. So, I have three ducks, apparently. And then there's my trio of geese we started with. We got Karen, Veronica, and Reggie. Karen's called Karen for a reason. She will attack you and try to eat you. And then here's the two goslings that we raised up from just little gaffers. So they're doing quite happy. I don't know their gender yet, but so let's move on. Wow, what a great time to try to do this with the sun in the way. Somewhere out here, we have our doling. And 
her name is Button, so I need to find her. We have Jasper, our buck, for next year. He's purebred alpine. Um, oh, I'll show you. This pretty girl is Lucky. Ray right, Lucky? Yeah, she's our guard dog. Show them they're, you're aggressive. Urgh. No, not today. Urgh. Show me your scary face. But she's our yard dog, farm dog, whatever dog. Goats! Here's our pack of goats. We have Belle Jewel. Jelly bean, Rosie Jelly bean Rosie Rose. Grace. Wilma. Tater. Ooh, Gretchen. Gretchen. Walter, we're gonna eat him next fall. Isma, Ellie Mae, Switch. Oh, and this one's my favorite. Come on, boy Roy. And here's our boy Cooney Coon. So I sold all my, I sold my girl, his girlfriend, cause I didn't, she wasn't, no. She was not worth breeding, so we sold her for a pet home. So now I need to find Roy a poor new girlfriend. No, but this in. is everyone uh, who Walter One, two, three, three. Oh! Okay, while we're doing this Wow, this video is just all over the place. I told you there's no rhyme or reason when I started it. So here is Button We're gonna breed her Here's his name is Breaker, but he will be known as, um, Breaker? no, Freezer Meals. And here's our little Jasper. He's our Alpine buck up and coming. So he won't be used till next year because he is much, 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 much too small. We have gotten out of rabbits as it was just too much for me. Um, to my little animals, I like our big animals. However, I have a couple that are just running free that I can't catch. The rest, um, we got rid of. So, this is one of our rabbits. She is a female. And I'm pretty... She's a female. She's a New Zealand, if you didn't hear Joshua in the back. My kidding and lambing pens, I need to get ready. Because, surprise! Boys go out with the females next month. But she has a boyfriend running around here somewhere, so there might be little little nuggets running around. Who really knows? And these. Aren't they so cute? Look at them. Hi, Breaker. Hi, Jasper. We also had piglets who kept getting out and wrecked our chicken coop um, fence. So, so here is our adult guinea who decided to go in the feed trough and almost just drowned. So... We're not gonna do that again, friends. Anyways, as I was saying, art. <laughs> uh, you on? Say no. I'm wet and soggy. Woo! All right, put that bad boy on the gun. So our piglets wrecked our chicken coop. So we have one rooster, I think, left to butcher, and the rest are hens. So they're just a backyard mix. It's whatever. Hello, rooster. Um, here's my pig feed that my goats and pigs have wrecked. So, Yahoo! Breaker's under there. Um, here's Sweet Pea. She's our pot belly female. And our Osaboa, purebred Osaboa, Jeremiah. They're not supposed to be out, but it is just a hot mess express here. So, yay for us. All right, I'm not gonna go in this pen because I have the baby on my hip and it's kind of hard. Um, yeah, this is Molly. She is our purebred Osaboa female. She should be having babies. She should be having babies what, in the next couple weeks? As long as she was bred, more chickens. <laughs> um, and then we have our little Osaboa cross potbelly piglets. They are growing absolutely fabulous. Um, they're just gonna go in the freezer, I think, in October. So there should be six of them. I think one's hiding. I should go get it out.
But there's six piglets if anyone wants one. I can hook you up. And I know you probably just seen in that last little bit that we got our rabbits. I did get out of rabbits, but I brought these ones home to eat them because look how beautiful their pelts are. So uh, they're just kind of chilling out and then we'll put them in the freezer in two weeks. Yay! In this pen, we got some funky donkeys. I'm not sure what those two chicks are. We have my silkies. Look at them. And we have our three Polish. They're not supposed to be in here, but we're just making do with what we have. <laughs> yes, Chad, I hear you. I hear you. So Chad is my gray rooster silky, and Henrietta is my white silky. And then our Polish. Josh, I think your Polish might all be females. I think. Oh, maybe not. But this is like our funky looking colors. Birds that we don't want free range to get eaten. <laughs> and then in this pen, oh, we have an egg. Oh, we have two eggs. Thanks, friends. We have eggs, but we have two quail. So I believe that brown one is a roux and this lighter one is a hen. I believe. Ugh. We still have to do choice tonight, so don't mind the gross water. It gets gross in like a day. Um, and then we have a bunch of quail. We put how many are out here, baby? Their pen needs cleaned. We put six out here, so I will when we do chores this evening, I will lock them all up and clean this side. <sighs> And this pen, surprise, more quail loves. Oh, you're out of water. Will you guys drink your water really quick? There's another egg, so I'll clean their pen also. So all together, we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 quail that should be laying. And we have a bunch more in the garage. Um. Super excited about quail eggs, though. Look how cute they are. Like, look at them. So precious. And then we have Joshua's favorite. Favorite. They're a little squished right now. Like I said, they need to be cleaned and rearranged. Even once I do chores. But there's Joshua's Buff Orvingtons. I call them, like, Little vultures, I legit, I'm so scared every time I do chores in this thing. I just move them out. Once again, we're cleaning out the garage, so I just throw them out into here, and I will clean out the grossness and add shavings this evening. Here, I am really sorry, this video. There's no rhyme or reason to it. We are a hot mess express. That's just how we are, so that's probably how our videos are going to be. But this is Penny. She is my large black cross. We, um got her paid stupid money for her just for her to have a floppy ear and look nothing like a large black but don't get me started on that but we had boris boris was kept on the other side of the fence and he broke in and we think she's bred so we can't butcher her however penny is supposed to be going into the freezer but i think she's gonna give me babies once again in the next couple weeks so she's mad at me because I haven't fed her. I haven't, hey, don't bite me. I haven't fed her yet. So there's Penny. I don't know what she's crossed with. But she's a great mom. But we are, I guess one of our big things was we wanted to do large blacks. Um, we spent a lot of money on our large black boar. He had some issues that became hereditary and he was a very expensive pig. Didn't grow like we just threw him in the freezer and he was i think josh said he was lower than my pot belly boar so shit genetics we didn't want to breed that he had hereditary issues so we scratched him very expensive pig to get maybe 20 pounds of meat off him so that was a learning curve we've definitely learned what to look at when we're gonna buy pigs and 
asking to see parents and growth rates and so yeah we decide we're getting out of big breeds so penny will be if she doesn't feral for me by september 16th i want to she's itching i want to say um then there's no i'll give her a couple weeks after that probably in october when it cools off a lot and we'll put her in the freezer because we're done with large pigs that's just it's too much for me it's not not something i'd like to keep doing now if we just continue our way over here that's where my pot belly sweet pea and asaboa are supposed to be but they got out this morning and i don't think they've gone back in no haven't gone back in they're over there so that's their pen and then we wander over here oh we found jasper again cool hot mess our door on our barn's falling down woohoo for that oh it's chicken Sweet Pea used to be so overweight, and then she had her babies, and she was lost all this weight, and she's kind of become mean, and I'm kind of scared of her now. So, let's see if she's going to try to eat me. Her babies are weaned, so maybe her hormones will F the, calm the F out, but guys, like, I'm so scared of her, and she weighs, like, 50 pounds, maybe. Okay, and then, okay, okay, I'm so excited about this guy. Jasper, not Jasper, Carlos, this is our buck. Well, you stinky boy. Hold I'm coming in there. Friends, don't eat that. Come with me. Hoo -hoo. Come here. Come here. Show everyone how pretty you are. Yeah. Show everyone how pretty you are. Turn. Turn. Oh, so pretty. So pretty, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. But Carlos is our purebred um nubian because we need something for this year obviously to breed our does um so he's over here away from my does because we don't want oopsies in january that would be absolutely hello oh i showered i know i'm gonna need to i guess that's what happens we're in rut um so that's fun woohoo but he stings <laughs> Um, but we need someone to breed our does this year, so our dolins and does will get separated. I believe Josh and I talked about lambing. I want to lamb sooner than later. Okay, this is very sketchy. So this is Carlos. <laughs> what? No, I'm trying to get off the fence and Carlos is up here like a freaking maniac. Ugh. He's taller than me. So, hello. He's a big boy. A very big boy. Right? Oh, he's so good. Oh, oh, he's so good. Someone tried to dehorn him when he was little, and now he has nubs from where his horns should come out, and that just pees me off because we believe horns are good. But he's beautiful, so whatever. Um. Anyways, so I think I'm going to get Josh to put the baby down so I can talk to him about breeding. And maybe we'll video. I'll video it with him. So that will be our next video about breeding. But last and final. Our well, that was rude. I was just about to introduce my favorites. The horses. Who scared it? Okay, so these are our horses. Can you even see them? Oh, lordy. <laughs> no, he wasn't being on me like Bob. Um, So this is Spirit. He was supposed to be trained, supposed to ride. Yeah, eight years later, he's nothing but a best friend for my girl. But isn't he beautiful? And we love him, so it's okay. He's not touchable. Hi, friend. Hi. He doesn't like men at all. Um, so if I put in the time, he'd actually be a really good horse. But whatever. And this is Catalina. She's a big old huss. Like, she's just a not nice word. She's a pain to catch, but I love her. I've had her since I was like... Whoa, sorry. <laughs> 
horsefly. I've had her since I was like 14 probably. And she just came with me. So I think that is all the animals I have to introduce. And I'm sorry my video is all over the place. Um, like I said, we are very over the place. It's hot mess, but I'm going to find Joshi and do another video do another video with him thinking about our plans for breeding and we got a fence we have to fence because Joe really really needs weaned from this butt hole but it's okay they're best friends but anyways thank you for watching my video sorry it's all over and hopefully we get back to more videos and better educational ones but See you next time.